Good food can really make or break a holiday experience. Today we've hit the jackpot. Look at that view, look at this food. We're at Cool Jaman Resort, which is just northeast of Broome. It's got 200 Ks, up a dirt track. It's beautiful. And if you think my brick here looks good, wait till you see where we're going for lunch, which is not being served up in a restaurant. For our second meal of the day, we're going off the beaten track. Ah, uh, you're finally here. In fact, to eat lunch, first, we have to catch it. I told you I'd come pick you up. It's all part of the service. That was an adventure. <laughs> Bolo Angus is eager to give visitors a real taste of his country. OK, this area now we're going to be taking you to is belongs to my grandfather, Freddie Bansali, and he's the bunny old people. So what we're going to be doing today is just going to show you how our old people survived up here. So we're going to cover water, shelter, hunting methods, and then do a cook-up at the end. And you won't be lonely. Bolo is usually joined by members of his extended family. And you may notice we're travelling light. So this is why we don't carry water. We've got water everywhere. And what this place is called, it's called Lamurgurun. And what this place does is uh, gives life to this area. You guys said you guys share a drink? Mm -hmm. Let's go look for crab eh, and fish. They can feed this hungry mob. and it seems ridiculously easy when you know what you're looking for. So what are these, Bolo? Oh, so these are the two types of bombshells we get. This one is the slug type, and if you don't like to eat them, you can always crush them up, chuck it at the end of your hook and catch a fish. Ah, so is that how we're getting the fish? Ah, no, 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 it's here. <laughs> you don't need a fishing line in our hook, crab hook. You got me and my hands, <laughs> all right? Finding the crabs isn't that hard. So this is what we're looking for. This is the crab hole. I'm just glad it's Bolo putting his ten fingers on the line. Ooh, it's only a time. Oh, there you go. <laughs> He's feisty. I think crab number one is pretty decent, but apparently I ain't seen nothing yet. Hole number two isn't too far away, and this time Bolo has grabbed his spear. Wise move, in my opinion. After skirting around the edge of the mangroves, it's time to check out the world inside. One thing you need to keep in mind is this tour is dependent on the tides. When the water comes in, all this is submerged, and apparently that's when the crocs come in. On the other side of the mangroves, we pop out near some tidal pools. So what's going to happen? They're just going to shoot So all it's going to be doing is just... <laughs> what? what? I don't know. Yeah, there you go, that's the fish. Oh, just stay there. <laughs> Yep, they're here. <laughs> I could die of a heart attack before we have lunch. But eventually, you just can't resist. Oh, look! <laughs> look, 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 look! There you go. That's the rock rod. Yeah? Yeah. It's very pretty. Yeah, it is. It's time for a cook up. On the way back, there's time to arrest one last mud crab for loitering, and he's a feisty little thing. And as for cooking, Bolo's dad is in charge. And first up, we need to wash up. Check out the soap. FaceTime. All right. So what's the aim of these tours that you're doing? Um, the aim is just to teach them a bit of knowledge. If they ever get stuck out in the, the wild, they know how to find water, um, food, just to give them a little bit of insight of how my people survived up here. Bolo's tours run through the dry season. It's a big day, it's a lot of fun. My tip, wear some reef shoes for the mud, despite Bolo's bare feet. 